This is the Christianstown walking tour. It's going to last about an hour and a half. And uh, apparently it's a slightly different town on the other side of the river. This is the old stock exchange building. So it should be pretty interesting when we get there. They started selling these books though, and uh, they actually uh, they were selling them not on the black market. Some of those family members got caught selling these books. Some of them went to jail for up to three years for selling these things. Now, what is the moral to the story? Always sell on the black market. Very smart. <laughs> now, our Black Diamond Library that we have here on either side of it has beautiful exhibitions. A guy called Link Ray is uh, buried at this church here in Christianstown. He's the guy that wrote quite a few famous scores, including the theme song to Batman. Right, onwards. Down along the harbour side, you'll see houseboats lining this entire island. Now everything was really building itself up, you can say, except for one spot. A little farther north and to the right, the old military barracks is, those were left abandoned. No one was touching them and they were left completely, uh, completely abandoned where no one was in there at all until some homeless people started moving in into the 70s. Some squatters started creating their own free town known as Christiania. But that's a story I'm going to save for a little farther down the line. In the meantime, I want to walk a little bit closer um, and around the corner and I've got one more church for you guys. Come with me this direction phones, things like that away. But technically you can take a picture inside of Christiania if you're not on that pusher street or nowhere near it. Uh, if you have no people in your photographs, because if you're in here you probably don't want your photograph taken. And don't take pictures inside people's houses. They're just not going to like that as well, okay? But yeah, put the phones, the cameras, things like that away at this point. I don't want to see any more of those. Um, the water, the harbor side that we're walking by though, is actually taken care of by both the city of Copenhagen and the community of Christiania. Well, we just finished the tour and um, just outside the free town Christiania. And outside we've got a bit of a situation with the police who are talking to all the taxi drivers who are waiting for people to come out I believe I don't know what's going on but As if this isn't bad enough, there's an outdoor spiral so we can actually go to the very top of the spire by climbing this stairway. Probably won't go all the way. Oh. <laughs> and actually, here's something quite interesting. Across the sea, Sweden, Malmo, which is where I'm heading tomorrow. And I'll be travelling across that bridge. got back from the top, still uh, about three quarters of the way up, uh, but I've just climbed the spire and that 
is terrifying. I'm gonna head down now, get my feet on solid ground. Here we go again. It's like climbing down from the most difficult loft you could imagine. A couple of hundred feet. There's the bell there. And there's the bell there. Well, actually, there's another bell there. Another bell there. I think we're in the bell tower or the bell compartment. Right. Down a bit further yet. Looks like through here. Down there. Well, I can't quite believe it, but let me show you where I've just been standing not just at the top of the church. Which is there. But at the top of the spire. Which was there. Crazy. Okay, it's about half past seven. And I'm now at Tivoli, which is a theme park Apparently, I think I said the other day, Walt Disney based some of his theme parks on this one. This is the second oldest theme park in Scandinavia. Actually, it's the second oldest in the world, I believe. So let's go in and have a closer look. Big stage area set up. There was definitely a show on here on Friday night. Heard it from the hotel. Looks like we got ourselves a pirate ship. Also, plenty of rides. Here's a statue to the guy that created the theme park. I was going to say it's similar to the one in the Magic Kingdom with Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse, but that's probably similar to this one. It's uh, right at the front 
of the theme park and it's in a nice garden area. There we go. And you're looking back towards the stage area. So he's got a good view of every show, every night.